This is an enormous pine that uh, <coughs> had a really cool curve in it. It had a really great shape. I really liked it. It was a piece of art. And uh, it isn't now. It, you see, it got uh, hit by lightning, and then part of it died and broke off, and, but then the rest of it started, kept living like that one branch there that goes up. And uh, it, it, at some point had the plague, the black beetle plague, Plaga. And uh, it's had, it had a tough life. It is totally dead now. It is so dead. I'm surprised the woodpeckers haven't gotten into it. That's actually kind of odd. Maybe it's because it had the, 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 back, the black beetle plague. I don't know. Um, but this will we'll eventually clear this up. I'm actually in no rush to clear this up because I think it's uh, educational. It's illustrative of the life cycle of trees. Um, and this one died of natural causes. Natural being an act of the great tree god who controls lightning. Fried the hell out of that tree. Uh. Everything's a grove out here. So that's the magic. We're coming up here. We're going from uh, unnamed place, North North Mesa, down on the, on the road to the volleyball court. And there's this nice spot we can clear out and people could camp here. This would be a great spot. It's really, bi it's really quite big. And the main thing is clear out these branches. And uh, that could happen actually pretty quickly because if we built a stove here and a roof, this is actually not a bad spot for a comfort station. Interesting. You know, the Carpinteria-sized comfort stations. That's an interesting idea. I mean, I've got to put all kinds of services out in different places. The number one service I can provide is probably uh, places to pee and poo. And uh, solar charging of electronics would be great. Um, you know, I'm thinking about tenters or people with RVs in this case. So... Which reminds me, I signed up on uh, some kind of boondocker site. Uh, I'll probably remove my profile. I listed my place on there as a place that you could camp for free with your RV. Small RV, because my road sucks. And a few rules and stuff. And uh, I guess you can suggest a donation. Um, I don't know, it feels like one more site where people come for free and I get screwed. That's what it sounds like to me instantly. And it, that may not be true. Um, I don't know any RVers or very many, and the people I've known who are traveling in a vehicle were actually pretty cool people, and they were pretty responsible, and uh, I liked them. Even even people riding on a bicycle. In fact, I have an extra special preference for bicyclers because uh, I cycled a little bit when I was younger, and it was just the funnest time of my life, probably. It was kind of, you know, weird and intense because I was young and didn't know anything about anything, but it's pretty fun.